David Brewster here with a new episode of Scales and Tales, and this is Discovering Dorian. And this episode is going to basically uncover and reveal and really explore the sound of the very popular Dorian mode, you know, one of the modes from the major scale. And there are seven modes derived from the major scale Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. And Dorian's definitely very common. You'll find it a lot in jazz and fusion music, and rock and hard rock and funk and blues, and definitely it comes out a lot in music. So it is very confusing as far as what modes are and how you can use them. You know, what chords kind of match the certain, you know, modal tonalities, chord progressions and stuff like that. So this episode is going to face this head on. So here we go. So this entire episode is going to revolve around C Dorian. And Dorian is the second mode from the major scale. So that kind of gives you like a clue as far as how to find it. So we're looking at C Dorian. And that basically means when we move back a whole step, that's going to reveal, you know, like the modal uh, parent scale. And that's B-flat major right there. So I'm going to flash an image here, and it's going to show, you know, B-flat major written out. And then right below that, it's the same scale, but it's starting on C, and that's going to reveal C Dorian. So check out this image right here. All right, so there was the image showing B-flat major spelled out, and then right below it was C Dorian spelled out, the same scale starting on C. So what that basically means, if you're playing over a B-flat major chord, or B-flat major 7, or something like that, then that's going to produce that B-flat major Ionian flavor, right? <laughs> say we play the same scale but instead of playing over B flat major we're going to change it to say uh, C minor 7 right? but we're going to lock into that same scale so now you know instead of B flat major over B flat major chord now it's C you know basically a C minor 7 chord with that B flat major scale you know starting on C progression here it's just basically C minor 7 you can hear how that scale kind of just pops out of nowhere what you're doing. Now before we get into chord progressions, you can actually uncover just static, you know, single chords that definitely imply a Dorian tonality. Just think of minor sixth chords or minor thirteenths, and that's going to deliver that kind of Dorian flavor. So instead of C minor 7 right here, let's just basically remove that 7 and grab that A, which is the sixth, and that's going to change that to a uh, C minor 6. like maybe on the B string like that. You can think of some funk. You know, kind of a funky riff like that, and you can kind of hear that six. So that does have the seven, so that's going to be like a C minor 13 implied. You could also do like a thumb fretted version like this. like this and there I'm grabbing the sixth right there stretching up with my pinky you know on the D string but really any of those chords are going to bring out this kind of Dorian flavor because it, it, they involve the sixth you know, within the chord and as soon as you hear that sixth it just pops you know like in the scale so the chord riff I'm going to jam over here with the TC electronic diddle looper is really just moving between C minor 7 C minor 6 and then back to C minor 7 again like this <laughs> mix 
right there. So if I start playing that scale over the top, you're gonna hear Dorian erupt like this. <laughs> jam but there I was really targeting you know that A note everywhere I can kind of grab it you know, really interesting once you get in there and start getting your hands dirty with that you know, that minor six chord or minor 13th chord so you can definitely explore that three note per string fingering that we started with for B flat major right there Starting on C and play it over C minor 7, it's going to sound like C Dorian. But one thing I see a lot of guitarists do, you know, blues and jazz and rock guitarists, they'll use pentatonic scales, but then they'll target the note that they need to kind of bring out that Dorian tonality. So think of C minor pentatonic right here, the box. And then you can basically find two places that are convenient right there to grab that A note, the sixth. So we can do it here. And also there on the D string too. You can also slide way down to the A right there. You know, really interesting to kind of just throw that in the pentatonic scale. So over that same kind of backing where I was jamming over that uh, C minor 7, C minor 6, C minor 7 riff like this, but I'm just going to play C minor pentatonic with an A added. from static chords and start looking at chord progressions to bring out this Dorian tonality. And this is going to unveil the Carlos Santana secret chord progression, which was nicknamed by Frank Zappa. We've actually looked at this in other episodes on this channel. But check out the uh, variations of the secret Carlos Santana chord progression, which is on Shut Up and Play Your Guitar, track 8. But that secret chord progression is basically a minor 1 chord, which in this case is C minor 7, and then a major 4 chord, which I'm going to make that an F9 right there. historic, you know, famous example from Santana, check out his cover of Tuito Puente's uh, Oyo Como Va, which is on a Braxis, and that song's actually in A minor, so A minor 7 to D9, you know, for Oyo Como Va. We're going to move that to C right here, C minor 7, F9. Now I'm going to set this up with a TC Electronic Diddle Looper and Jam again, but check out what I'm going to do. I'm going to target that A note over that F9 chord, because that A sounds great over C minor 7 that F9, it's actually part of the chord. It's the third right there. So if I save that note and play it over that F, you know, F9 chord, it pops. It jumps right out in the mix, like this. Alright, the last area here, I'm actually going to direct you toward a song, and this is kind of an obscure song from 1978. It's actually the song Cosmic Messenger from Jean-Luc Ponty, you know, the uh, kind of fusion-y uh, prog rock violinist. 
and you know, brilliant musician. And his albums from the seventies are gold. And he worked, you know, of course, with uh, Alan Holdsworth on an album and Daryl Sturmer, which you know, Daryl from uh, you know Genesis and Phil Collins fame. But then this song actually features Peter Manu, and Peter actually played in the Posse band from the Arsenio Hall show back in the day. You might remember that, you know, from the late 80s and the 90s. You know, great guitarist for sure. So it's an obscure song, but it revolves around C. Dorian. So that's why I kind of selected C. Dorian as far as the key we targeted in this lesson. Kind of move through all this material, heading toward this. So here's an image kind of showing you like the album cover so you can find it. It's the title track from this album, and it's brilliant. And the other night, I actually put this on repeat, and I sat right here for hours just jamming C. Dorian melodies and licks and lines. I had a blast. I had a ball. And I was trying to figure out a way to make that into a lesson, which is what I'm trying to reproduce right here. So here's the image so you can find the album cover, you know, with the song. So far in this episode, we revealed the C Dorian mode, which is derived from the B flat major scale. We also added the note A to the C minor pentatonic, and that kind of brought out this Dorian flavor and tonality. We also looked at chords that kind of deliver this tonality with that C minor six and C minor 13, you know, flavorings. Also the Carlos Santana secret chord progression brought out Dorian with that C minor seven to F nine chord progression. But now with Cosmic Messenger, we have a three chord progression. So it starts with C minor. <laughs> flat major, technically E flat over B flat right there, but E flat major, and then this really crafty uh, A7 flat 5, and then back to E flat major again, and he's picking through it for this, uh, this chord part, so he's kind of doing this leapfrog picking on the C minor. pick the same way and then that A7 flat 5 pick the same way and then back to E flat major again the same way and then that's the chord progression kind of repeat it over and over and then there's like a melodic guitar part that comes out and that's uh, the guitar synth and violin and they start harmonizing it and stuff but that's something like this really soaring violin solo which is so cool and there's not really a guitar solo in the song but you can put one in there and that's what I recommend you do you know look at the chord part look at the melodic part kind of get a feel and an earful for the song and then just start jamming start playing licks and phrases and solos over the top of it and just cut loose and have fun you know something like this <laughs>
All right, that's gonna wrap this episode of Scales and Tales with Discovering Dorian. And like I mentioned earlier, I basically tried to recreate something that happened right here, you know, last week. And I just sat here and just jammed over Cosmic Messenger, like I said, for hours. And I just completely lost track of time. I have no idea how many times it repeated or how many Dorian licks and phrases I played. But I had a ball, I had a blast. And I sat here after I was done and I thought, you know what, how can I make this into a video? Because I had so much fun you know, discovering that song or rediscovering that song. And I'd never really jammed over it before. I'd heard it before, but then kind of making that connection with it and kind of thinking of, you know, making a Scales and Tails video where I'm going to start looking at some of these modes. And then I discovered the song, listened to it, started jamming over it, and just felt super inspired. And I thought, okay, I need to, see, you know, see if I can recreate this some way into a video and help the viewers out there kind of, you know, find this Dorian playground with the Jean-Luc Pony song. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.